Good morning everyone. Today we're kicking off 21 days of prayer and fasting. For me personally, I find these to be really helpful times. They're times where I can create a little bit extra space and room in life to be able to spend in the presence of God and to hear what God's saying to me. For us as Restore for 2020, there's a passage of scripture that we feel the Lord's given us specifically for this year, and that's from Isaiah chapter 54. I'm going to read the first six verses now from the Message Translation, because that brings out some of the meanings, some of the phrases that I think are particularly key for us this year. So it says as follows, it says, Sing, barren woman, you who, who has never had a baby. Fill the air with song, you who've never experienced childbirth. You're ending up with far more children than all those childbearing women. God says so. Clear lots of ground for your tents. Make your tents large. Spread out. Think big. Use plenty of rope. Drive the tent pegs deep. You're going to need lots of elbow room for your growing family. You're going to take over whole nations. You're going to resettle abandoned cities. Don't be afraid. You're not going to be embarrassed. Don't hold back. You're not going to come up short. You'll forget all about the humiliations of your youth and the indignities of being a widow will fade from your memory. For your maker is your bridegroom, his name, God of the angel armies. Your redeemer is the holy of Israel, known as the God of the whole earth. You were like an abandoned wife, devastated with grief, and God welcomed you back. For me, these are really encouraging verses. They were actually given to Israel when Israel had been through a time of great hardship and God was speaking, prophesying hope through the prophet Isaiah. For many of us, I know that 2019 was a year of great challenge. I feel that uh, one of the things the Lord's saying for 2020 is that in 2020, we're going to experience a fruitfulness, some of which is going to be a result, is going to be born as a result of having weathered the challenges of 2019. And a verse that particularly strikes me as being significant out of this passage is verse 2, which talks about clearing lots of ground for your tents, making your tents large, spreading out and thinking big. And one of the things that I feel that Lord's saying is this year we need to be intentional about clearing the bases, about letting go of some stuff so we're ready to embrace the next season of fruitfulness that God is bringing to us. I don't know, maybe in 2019, uh, maybe you experienced some disappointments, maybe uh, there were other things that just took your attention in some way from Jesus. Why not at the start of 2020 make a choice to clear the bases, to let go of some stuff and create more room so we can embrace the presence of God and as we recenter ourselves on Jesus so we can experience and anticipate him uh, bringing a greater fruitfulness in and through our lives this year. I hope you're going to enjoy it. You're going to join with us this morning as we gather to worship in Latin. We're gathering at 9 and 11 at Enfield at half past 10. Please join us if you can. And we're going to be looking a bit more at Isaiah 54 and setting ourselves up for these 21 days of seeking Jesus together. God bless you. And hopefully I'll see you a little bit later.